folks, my name is Miranda. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a licensed professional counselor and sex therapist in Erie, Pennsylvania. And today I wanna to talk about minor attracted persons. And I want to talk about minor attracted persons because they are probably the most vilified population of folks in our culture. And most folks are making incorrect assumptions about them without actually knowing much about them. And those assumptions create harm for an already marginalized population. You may have noticed that I'm using the term minor attracted persons, sometimes abbreviated to MAPS, instead of the more commonly used term pedophile. And I'm doing this because the term pedophile has moved from being a diagnostic label to being a judgmental, hurtful insult that we hurl at people in order to harm them or slander them. I also prefer person-first language that recognizes that any label we might apply to a person is only part of who they are and doesn't represent everything that they are. We are all people first with many different facets or parts of ourselves, and this includes folks who are attracted to minors. So to start with, let's talk about what a minor attracted person is or who they are. This term simply means that the person has an enduring sexual or romantic attraction to minors. They've not chosen this attraction just as the rest of us have not chosen whatever our attraction is. You don't get to choose to be heterosexual or to be gay or, or whatever you are. And you don't get to choose to be a minor attracted person. Some minor attracted persons are attracted to a specific age range of minors while some are not. And some minor attracted persons are exclusively attracted to minors and are not attracted to adults at all. Some minor attracted persons are also attracted to adults, 